voltage from Sword and Shield to see if we could pull that big old fat chunk at you. I think we could do it, guys. I'm trying to complete the set. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So, all right, guys, let's get into this, guys. We got a vivid voltage booster box straight from our good friends of eBay.com. So, we're going to open this up and see if we can't finish out this set. I'm pretty close to finishing it. Um, I think I'm probably about 60 cards shy, which is pretty good. I, I think I think it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go straight into it, guys. Vivid Voltage. Now this is some of my favorite. I think this one, and Vivid Voltage, and definitely, um, I think I think I'm gonna have to say, Evolving Skies are my favorite out of these sets. Um, best arts and stuff like that. So we're gonna open it up. Get old Zarude. He won't come out of there. Yeah, I'm totally destroying this box. All right, guys. So here's our packs. We have 36 of them. And we're going to get straight into this. No playing games, nothing like that. We're just going to start cracking packs. So we did reach our subscriber giveaway, which is awesome. Totally excited for that. And we are on the road to 500 subscribers, guys. Let's get there. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I, I think it's a reasonable amount of subscribers to get. And, you know, I got some pretty cool content, I think. <laughs> we have some pretty cool stuff going on. So we're definitely on the hunt for some of the reverse holographics. I'm definitely on the hunt for those. I think I... Oh, okay, all right. Right, up, right off the bat, Selby Amazing Rare. That is awesome. Check out the art on that, guys. That is an amazing card. I can't believe we pulled that first thing. And a Zarude V, man. Look at them hits. Oh, my gosh. Sure, you know, like this. I think this box... Is, I, I, I got a feeling this box is just going to be insane gonna be insane guys but yeah let's crack these things open I'm, I'm telling you what i'm feeling lucky today vivid voltage is gonna bless us today okay as soon as i say that that's so i'm gonna try to do that a little bit better so we do not see the card but we might as well skip it now now if you do watch my uh check out that charmander he's just so cute in that set <laughs> if you do watch my uh my TikTok, I do have a green code card pack from Cosmic Eclipse and do pull a full art out of there. So, okay, Tornadus. That's a good one. Tornadus, that's a rare reverse holographic. And then we got a Garbodor for the non. Okay, so that's, that's, that's still that's still pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. Um, but yeah, Vivid Voltage, man. This set is amazing. Everybody's after that rainbow chunk of chew. Like, nobody ever talks about, like, the, I told you I was going to do better, but I guess I'm not. So... The rain, everybody's at the rainbow chunk at you, man. But there's so many good cards in this set. I mean, you cannot just, you know, usually, you know, you'll have the set and they'll be like, that's the card out of that set. So, but we're going to roll through this and we're just going to enjoy it. Look at that Vaporeon. That is an awesome card, guys. The reverse holographic of that. And then we have a Metagross non holographic rare. So that's not bad. I'm excited. I'm excited to be opening up some Vivid Voltage. So, what have you guys been into? Like, go ahead and comment down below. Okay, man, I need I need to get better at this. Um, showing these code cards. What have you guys been into? I have been into Pokemon Arceus, for sure. Great game. If you watch my previous video, I'll talk a little bit about it. Definitely check it out, guys. I think it's a good a little... Ah! We lost them. We lost them, Captain! All right, Stone Energy for the reverse. And then we got a Shaman holographic rare that is awesome check that out man we got some hits for days shaman's awesome doesn't make an appearance in the pokemon arceus games as he should as he should all right green code card guys one two three four all right let's move him out of the way so i'm trying to keep everything separate here so we can look at our hits when we're done um so yeah yeah definitely check that game out guys uh probably one of the best pokemon games i've ever played we're getting a little too excited here. Let's slow down. Wizmer, Slugma. We got Bay. Look at that. Reverse holographic. And then a Ninjask. Non holographic rare. But yeah, check it out. So, first, first, right off the bat, Amazing Rare Selby. That is an insane card. That is a cool card. I love that, that ama the Amazing Rares are in these sets, guys. Like, it's so cool. Um, okay, there we go. I did it again. One, two, three, four. All right. Mighty Ena, Pertrin, Loudred, Pharaoh Seed, Skiddo. Okay, I saw something good back here. Blitzel, Rockruff, Puchina, Charmeleon Reverse, Holographic, and a Shabang Ampharus V. Okay. All right, guys. Not bad. Good pulls, good pulls. Um, so we did the giveaway. Went to an amazing charity. I'm excited for that. 
So yeah, let's not show it this time. Basha bang. So I'm excited to do that. Um, I think I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna look at the quiz on that card. You guys see that? What the heck? Did somebody like wipe their boogers on it? That is odd. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> so we have a booger filled pack here, which is probably gonna be our rainbow Pikachu. And we have Dusclops with a shebang. Okay, Galarian Darmashta V Max. Okay. And he is not covered in boogers, thank God. All right, guys, we're back. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties there. Camera died. <laughs> so, yeah, we let that charge up. Let's move on to the next pack, guys. So, moving along. God, freaking green card again. What is up? One, two, three, four. So we got some pretty good pulls out of this box, guys. I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a banger. I think it's gonna be a good one. So completing sets is a definitely a, it's a very okay. Flareon, that's a rare. That's a non-holographic rare. Um, but yeah, look at that Zub Strike. I think that's pretty cool how the the background matches the Pokemon. Um, yeah, completing sets, guys, that is difficult to do. Um, it's a daunting task. I know a lot of people just collect to get the rare cards, but to actually complete the set, that's just on a whole nother level. Um, getting every reverse holographic and all that, it's just, it's difficult. So, um, but yeah, definitely challenging, but fulfilling. We have not completed a set yet, guys. I, I'm, I'm close to Fusion Strike, um, and I'm hoping to finish up a uh, bit of a voltage here. So, hopefully, we can get that moving along. Um, Matang, Marina, Yanma, Fanfi, Clefairy, Electrike, C Dot, Charmander, Reverse Holographic, and a Boom Wimscott, non holographic rare. I like the Charmander. I think he's a cute little fella. So, moving along. These booster box videos seem like they take a long time, but I really like, I like watching people open booster boxes. Um, it's definitely more entertaining. Uh, watching that um, can be a little bit repetitive I can't believe it's, half these cards I've opened up they look like they've had boogers put on them I don't know what's going on <laughs> oh gosh so yeah moving along now Zacian amazing rare okay cool we got two amazing rares out of this box so far guys and can we follow it up with something awesome we got a Regirock Rock holographic all right not bad but that's a that's a amazing rare. I love the amazing rares. Um, I'm glad that they start putting these in sets, and uh, you know, it's just something different. Um, it it kind of like with the shining cards, the shiny cards. Uh, if you follow over on my TikTok, I did an ETB break of uh, shining fates. Um, I've never opened shining fates until recently, which is kind of odd. But I did get a I get a booster or a. I did get a god i'll get it out eventually my gosh a etb of them and it only comes with 10 packs it's they're they're kind of expensive to be honest just for 10 packs so you know so basically what you're looking out of these sets guys you're looking for that pikachu um we're looking for v max cards there's kakuna reverse holographic so any reverse holographic i definitely i'm gonna have to be looking through my binder to see and you know i, have, I probably don't have a video of me like updating my binder and see you know showing you guys like what i've gotten so far um tcg player is definitely a great option to complete a set because it allows you to get cards for basically pennies um that's something that you don't want to keep opening packs like a lot of people go against that but i like can't afford to open up packs and to get just like Kakuna here so that would be like a huge waste of money now i understand for like the rare cards you want to have like the chase cards and stuff like that that you want to open packs for that's more enjoyable um but yeah i definitely see something behind there so what's peeking and it is a lichen rock i guess i didn't see anything but yeah um what are some of your chase cards guys what are you looking for comment down below i definitely want to like get in some interaction with you guys uh, so comment like uh you know send me an email like if you guys want to talk i mean i, I, I would love to uh uh, interact with you guys so is there anything else you guys want to see on this channel like um pokemon cards i thought about doing let's plays of the new pokemon game um stuff like that but i'm definitely you know i'm all into the cards right now um i do collect retro video games too shininja okay reverse holographic that is a rare so can we follow it up with something good boom manetric non-holographic rare i like that card yeah, that's a pretty cool card. 
Um, yeah, collect retro video games. Been doing that for a while. Uh, it slowed down for me trying to find games. So I went to Pokemon and started collecting those, which is interesting. You know, that's kind of a, a big, well, it's not really necessarily a big challenge. I think I goofed this up, guys, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, I did. Rocky Helmet, Gavantula, Swellow. Yeah, retro video games um, used to be a big this is just the wild west like you just go out and you would go to yard sales you'd find them all day okay so our, our reverse holographic is going to be behind here voltorb accidentally threw the energy in there and it used to be like the wild west of like getting you know good finds and getting games cheap and games weren't that expensive like even on ebay at that time but now it's become this okay talon flame v not bad um but it's become this um uh, huge market and it, it, due to uh the covid and everybody was bored staying at home and i'm talking like it's been uh, it's just been crazy how much things have inflated which i'm i'm not particularly happy about it um one thing i was trying to go for is a complete n64 collection in the box and the prices of games have just went outrageous and i cannot justify spending that kind of money on a game when i know that there's a million copies of it out there so people are paying the price and they're getting into the hobby which has started steeping up the bubble started increasing increasing until finally it's sort of like with the pokemon cards and the classic cards okay snorlax holographic that's a cool card um i do have the reverse holographic of that one but that i did not have the holographic check that one out anything snorlax i love he's one of my favorite pokemon but yeah that bubble did not burst it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger until now where we're at the point where somebody that just wants to like casually get games it's just impossible um that's the same with pokemon cards right now guys things will come down eventually um a lot of people compare like video games we see trends in the in the past we're talking about like um atari so like that generation of people that collected atari um gotten older they got everything they needed some of the rare stuff you just can't get your hands on you know you're not gonna find it out in the wild you have to buy it off of a collector x plow non-holographic rare so that's um you know a real shame you know but the price has went down on those games like some of the atari games because people are not interested in atari as much as they were 20 years ago um which is you know reasonable you know because that generation then collected everything they need so our generation now is collecting pokemon um nintendo 64 super nintendo gamecube's coming really hot right now the original xbox those are things to keep an eye out for guys now there's, there's things you can still find out in the wild but you know you, you as far as nes and super nintendo goes nah pharaoh seed reverse holographic and a boon stilix v that is a cool car check him out he's looking mean dude he's got that he's got them three teeth He's looking wild. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they gave him teeth. Like, he kind of looks like a, like a, I don't know, what, like a, like a hobo. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. So, yeah, vintage video games. What is it? It's hard to compare it to something like, you know, there's people faking games and same Pokemon. They're so comparable. Um, nostalgia wise um you know a trading card's cool and i always uh you know went with that like a trading card brings back nostalgia but what can you do with a trading card you know like you can say hey yeah it's cool it looks cool on my shelf whereas a video game you can actually take it off the shelf and play it and that's more of a worthy investment in my opinion but we have a clefairy reverse holographic and that's a pretty cool card and we're moving on alakazam full art okay i do have this card uh, i think this is my third one actually that's still a cool pull guys alakazam full art check that out this box has been very nice and we have not even pulled i don't think we've pulled anything like our rainbow rare or anything like that so um that slot is still open guys so it is hard to tell what it's going to be in this and i've seen a lot of residue on this pack i don't know if it's something from the factory or what um it's very odd. I don't know if you guys have ran into that. Leave a comment down below if you have. Woobat! Charmander Reverse Holographic. There he is again. Shabang! Toucan Sam. Look at that. Yeah, we love we love us some Charmander. Um, but yeah, you definitely... Retro video games is something... Ah, accidentally... Wait a minute. No, it, it was reversed. There. <laughs> um, 
Retro video games, man. Don't recommend getting and collecting those. Just get what you want or just get you a... Uh, a lot of people say, just get the ROMs of it, man. Just get the ROMs. Well, that's not the same. It's playing it on actual heart with Varathorn again. With an Al Creamy. Mmm, creamy. Makes me want some ice cream. Um, you know what that reminds me of, though? This, this card here. Have you guys seen, like, the Japanese commercial for the ice cream where the guy's, like, made of ice cream and he's eating his head? Yeah, that's what that kind of reminds me of. It's creepy. Check it out if you haven't seen it. But, yeah, like like I said, um, you know, get what you want. A lot of people say get the ROMs. They do have options where you can get, like, um, SD card, uh, like, to ROM on your system, which is a pretty cool option. And, you know, it's uh, a great way to play retro video games, especially your Game Boy games. You know, a lot of people don't want to play them on a the handheld. They want to, like, play it on the TV. That is a great option. Dialga Reverse Holographic Rare. That is awesome. That is a cool card. I can dig that one. That's a, that's a, uh, a very nice art style in that card. So can we follow it up with something cool and leon trainer holographic pretty cool yeah that dialogue i think we're gonna have to sleeve him up he's pretty neat so shaboing and we're gonna put it in here can you do it with me guys shaboing all right so we'll put him with the holographic so now can just hang out but the new pokemon game Amazing guys, I think. Oh, poopy! I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Don't beat me. See, look, there's residue on these cards. I don't know if like somebody got these and was like they just, that, that day at work and was like wiping their nose on them. I don't know. Um, yeah, check out that new Pokemon game, guys. You'll love it if you love Pokemon. All right, Yamma for the reverse holographic and a Jolteon non-holographic rare. Um, I also started, I picked up, uh, well, I didn't pick up, I had it over here on the shelf. I picked up uh, the Fire Emblem, the Three Houses, and I'm excited to play that. I, actually, that's been on my back catalog to play. Um, I'm I'm 100% a Nintendo fanboy, I ain't gonna lie. I love Nintendo, and I will always love Nintendo. Um, so anything they make to get their hands on is usually going to be good. And Fire Emblem's just a you know classic series. Aracuda. Cottony Zapdos Reverse Holographic Rare. That is an awesome card. This has been a banger pack. This whole box has been awesome. Can we follow it up with something good? Barascuda Non Holographic Rare. No, no, we cannot follow it up with something good. That is a cool card. He that that and that uh, the um, Dialga. That has just been some really cool cards there, guys. They belong in the VIP section up here up top. All right. Shawing. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Beauty, Shuckle, Nuzleaf, Mudbray, Pineco, Electrike, Duskull, Fanopy, Hitmontop for the Verse Holographic, and Galarian Berserker. Nothing. Hitmontop, that's, that's a pretty cool card, though. Um, so... I have been watching a lot of Poke Rev and the Poke Cave. And I've been trying to get in and buy one of the packs that he opens up lives, but I, I'm assuming that they sell I mean, I watched the live stream that night and I, I couldn't get on the site to like even buy anything. Is, is it just sell out instantly? Is like, I don't know. It seems like it's a very difficult thing to get a, a you know, pack of cards to be able to open up on live stream, which he opens up some pretty cool stuff, which I hope to be able to do one day. Zayora, Reverse Holographic Rare. Another banger, guys. That's a cool card. And can we follow it up with something cool? Dun, 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 dun. Bennett. Now, that's a good card in the uh, the series, the uh, TCG right now, um, just because of its ability. Um, I believe that this, uh, when you play this Pokemon from your hand, to evolve one of your Pokemon during its turn, you may devolve one of your opponent's bench-devolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on into your opponent's hand. So that's, you know, knocks it down. Um, that's a pretty cool card to have, actually, to build a deck. <clears throat> that's something I would like to do, guys, is, uh, build a deck and, like, kind of show you guys, like, how it goes, you know what I mean? Like, that's, I I'm not really familiar with the game and the builds and stuff like that. I do watch, like, the, the championships and stuff, which is kind of weird to watch them now because they're online and it's the, the TCG game, which is, 
I like it, the TCG game. I think they just do so much better for the franchise, and I feel like it's just so underwhelming. Like, if you play Hearthstone before or any of those games, like, to see Pokemon, like, be treated the way it is with the TCG game, Moo Moo Cheese, and then a Shrift Tree for the rare, um, it's kind of disappointing. Like, I think they could do better with a hundred billion dollar, you know, franchise, you know, <laughs> like, it's insane that they have this you know trading card game that's been going on for 20 years and in the and it's just so underwhelming like the graphics are so cheesy it's not even available on ios for the phone um you have to have uh, an ipad to play it on it and i think that's insane like we're in 2022 guys like i mean it's you know are we in 2022 yeah we are <laughs> i've lost it i've officially lost it yeah, that, this uh, brain fog from the uh, COVID has really got me going nuts. But anyways, that, they could really do some work to that. It could be awesome. It could have been like Hearthstone, you know what I mean, with the backgrounds. Metagross for the non-holographic. Um, it could have been such a better game. Like, they could have put some more time into it, a little bit more effort. And I think that they could have had a real banger of a thing. Even offered on the Switch, that would have been... See, look at that, guys. The code card was on the front. Okay, I guess they switched some of them. Um, which, you know, they could have really, you know, they could have made it so much awesomer. That's not even a word, but you know what I mean. Um, it's still fun. If they bring it out to the iPhone, that would make it more fun. Nikita for the, uh, reverse holographic. And we did have a white code card. So guys, we should be pulling out a banger here. Let's see what we got. And we got a Toga Kiss VMAX. That is a cool card. Anything with Toga Kiss is pretty cool. Is that on the card itself, or is that like stars? Uh, I'm not sure. Can you guys see that? I think it's just part of the card. That's cool. Togekiss. Yeah, Togekiss is OP in the new game. <laughs> like, it is. He's pretty insane. Uh, but yeah, guys. I, 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 let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, the TCG game, like, it could be so much better. They could have like made it to where, you know, like. Um, just the board would have been cooler. The graphics could have been more updated. I don't know. Like, I haven't played it until recently. So, I'm not sure if it was, like, that at the beginning or if it was just, you know, if it's dated from 2013 or whenever they bought it out, 2012. Trebush for the reverse holographic and a electrode holographic rare. That's a cool card. Check that out. They did that one right, guys. That's a cool card. Looks like he's getting ready to self-destruct. Yeah, that's a cool card. But yeah, I digress. So basically, Bearded Pokey Dad is uh, 30 minutes of me opening Pokemon cards and ranting about how they should improve things uh, with the TCG. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back again. Camera died. <laughs> but yeah, moving along, guys. We're going to finish it up. Um, yeah, this camera I have, man, it's it's a great camera. As you can see, the quality's great, but man, the battery sucks on it. So, hopefully we'll be able to work on that. So, we got the Eevee for the reverse, and then we got Dawn Fiend for the rare non-holographic. Um, but yeah, the, the battery life sucks on this camera. Um, but, you know, it's probably my fault because I tried to record two videos back-to-back. -back. Um, it has a good, like, 30-minute battery life, so I uh, just need to keep that in mind next time. So, yeah, moving along... Um, next video, I have more mystery boxes planned, guys. I'm going to get on eBay, and I'm going to order some non-commercial ones. I'm going to try to find some individual sellers selling uh, some mystery boxes. The mystery boxes that I did have were pretty cool, um, but nothing... Uh, I don't know. I, I thought they were both pretty good. I, I, looking back, the one... the uh, I can't remember what it's called, Kintsugi or something like that. That was a great box, actually. There was a lot of effort putting that one. Welmer and the Welmer Reverse Holographic. So, I'm going to definitely find some more boxes to open up, guys. And then, can we follow it up? Dialga Holographic Rare. Okay, so we had the Reverse Holographic. Now we have the, the Rare Holographic. Um, that's a cool card right there. Especially coming from, uh, you know, opening up all those, uh, or playing the Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, and all that. So, it's definitely cool to see. Um, so, 
yeah definitely have mystery boxes planned i'm gonna uh actually as soon as i get done recording this video i'm gonna do a look at some auctions i, I think i enjoy those those are pretty cool uh it's you know less uh, uh just predictable i guess because we know what it's going to come out of these sets and we don't know what's coming out of these cars plus it kind of broadens your collection up a little bit it doesn't have you like you know st stuck in this you know era okay so we got drone rotom for the reverse holographic and then well, what are we going to pull a b drill non-holographic rare um but yeah, that it broadens your collection out. It's uh, pretty cool to see, you know, different sets and stuff like that. Um, you just gotta be very careful. You know, it's a, it's a gamble. Um, you know, you, I guess you pay for that gamble. Okay, guys, we have a we have a regular code card here. Um, you pay for that gamble, which I, you know, it's kind of understandable. It's like grabbing a grab bag or something, you know, from the store. I used to have them at the dollar store. You guys remember that, guys? And uh, you would grab that grab bag and be filled with toys that had boy, girl, or you know, neutral. So that's kind of the same idea. And I think that uh, it's a good idea, you know, for, especially for Pokemon cards. Telescopic Sight. Um, I'm thinking about also subscribing to a like subscription service that sends out Pokemon cards each month. And I think that would be cool to see. Um, and I'm definitely gonna look for mystery boxes that have retro sets seated in it. So what can we follow up with this Telescopic Sight, guys? It's gonna be a Orbital V. <clears throat> so that's a pretty cool card. Um, I feel like this this box has been very generous to us. We have pulled some really cool cards out of here, guys. And I am tickled pink to see all these. Um, are you guys like? Are, are you guys still like? Are you? Is everybody waiting for the new sets to come out? Uh, you know, for Brilliant Stars to come out. I know a lot of people are excited for it. And I, like, I feel like everybody's holding off maybe to see. I mean, look at all these cards, guys. It, it has been on all these cards. I don't know if it's a factory defect or. Uh, something from shipping I'm not sure it's on the outside card um, looks like something like rubbed it maybe um, but yeah is everybody waiting like I, I, I'm still collecting these other sets you know and I'm, I'm gonna start reversing myself of course I do have a pretty big order in for the new set okay, okay we have a Matang reverse holographic and we're gonna follow it up with a Lucario non holographic rare that's a cool card anytime you see Lucario um, yeah we're definitely gonna um, have a big order for that guys i have a whole case on order an entire booster box case and i have a case of etbs that are, have been ordered with it and we will definitely be giving some of those away guys just heads up so keep an eye on the channel we're on that road to 500 subscribers i think we can do it guys i have faith in it i think people are enjoying the content not to toot my own horn um, I put effort into these videos, so yeah, if you like it, you know, I'll always just like leave a thumbs up. If you don't like it, dislike it, and let me know, like let me know what I could do different, guys. I'm always looking to improve. I love constructive criticism. So Sam Lee Reverse Holographic, and then a Orangu Gold. Okay, that is a cool card, guys. Check that one out. Okay, focus in there. Yeah, that's a cool card. And if I'm not mistaken, that this this guy here is a pretty good card to play in the TCG itself, um, uh, due to his ability, which is once during your turn you may switch a card from your hand with the top card of your deck. So he's a pretty viable card, and he's pretty cool looking too. That is awesome. Okay, so yeah, right there at the very end, guys, we only got two packs left. Two packs left out of this entire booster box. Can we pull? some heat out of these last two packs guys i feel like we can i have a feeling that we are i feel i have a feeling something's gonna pop out here that's gonna blow our mind now see that that was the second from last card that had the white residue on it so that was a cool card to pull for sure and then we're gonna do a little you know wrap up and see what all we pulled out of here guys we got welmer again we got sanley we got tara Kian. okay can we pull some fire? We got a Samurott. Now he looks a lot different in the new game, guys. If you have, uh, you know, that's the evolved form of Oshawott. Um, he looks a lot different. Uh, well, with D Watts, where he evolves from, but totally different looking now. Uh, didn't get as cool as upgrade as the other ones. <laughs> You'll see. Um, but yeah. All right, final pack, last pack, magic. Can we summon Goku here? Spirit bomb, energy drink, chugging it. Gl, 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 gl. All right, let's get into it. Last pack, magic, guys. Can we pull some fire out of here? All right. I'm gonna tell if we're gonna pull fire or not. Boom. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> if you watch my TikToks, you'll see. Sometimes I get surprised. Let's see what we got out of here, guys. Last packs. I want to thank you guys for watching, guys. Just thanks for thanks for coming out and you know just watching the video. Um, 
it's pretty cool that I get to do this and I enjoy doing it and I love Pokemon cards and it gives me an excuse to open up Pokemon cards. <laughs> so yeah, Joltik for the reverse holographic. And last card of the pack, we're going to be having a Clefable non-holographic rare. But we cannot complain, guys. We had some really good cards out of this, this this pack. So, you know, starting off with our VMAX cards, we had Togekiss, and then we had the Galarian uh, Darmashian VMAX. So the, the two VMAX cards, those are pretty cool. Um, starting off with the rare holographics here, we got Dialga uh, for our holographic. An Electrode, Leon, the Snorlax holographic, Regirock, and Shaman. Pretty cool. And then for our gold, we ended up with a Rangaroo. Pretty cool card. He's looking dope. So, and then we can pull two amazing rares out of here, guys. We ended up getting the Zacian and the Selby. Amazing rares out of here. The Selby's definitely my favorite of the two. I've seen this card before. I've had it. Um, I've pulled it before. But the Selby, I have not. And I'm really digging it. I'm excited to have that in my collection now. So, <clears throat> so reverse holographic rares we ended up with a Sheninja, we had a Zeora, a Dialga which we ended up getting the holographic rare of that and then a Zapdos reverse holographic rare and for our V cards last but not least we ended up with an Orbeetle, an All Art, full All Art, full Art, Alakazam V, Stilix V, Ampharos V, Talonflame V and a Zarude V all very cool cards guys so yeah thanks for watching and um check out the last video we got a giveaway going on this week um so we're giving away another 10 and i want to thank you guys for watching and appreciate any input you have and until next time